Hello, Shadowcat back with more RimWorld. And I have a couple of very big, kind of important things to take care of before we start anything today. And there's also a very important thing waiting for us right there, but I'll talk about that in a second. So, first things first. As you might have noticed, a few things around here have changed. We now have two of these wind or water mill generators. Which is cool, because we need it. Why do we need it? Well, we need it for, well, not this, because these are helixian powered gas refineries. Why do we need the gas refineries? Well, for the giant crop of potatoes we have up here that we're turning into chem fuel. Why are we turning potatoes into chem fuel? Well, this is why. All the oil has disappeared, again. I don't know why, but it's broken again. And since I did dump most of my chem fuel into all these transport pods, which I mean, even though I, I really don't need this, this much fuel in them, it's in there. I can't get it back. So even though that's done and we're out, well, without chem fuel, I can't run the terraformers. They're all empty, mostly, okay. This one's empty. The rest of them have a little bit of fuel. They're working on it, and they're doing a good job, but this is becoming a problem. I have gone ahead and taken the time and effort to upgrade this game to the latest edition of RimWorld. Yes, the 1.3. whatever it is now. The ideology uh, update. Now, ideology is not in here, obviously, but we're now updated to everything that is the most recent. So hopefully when we get to the next base, this will no longer be a problem. It does not, however, fix my problem now. The only solution I have now is to turn a whole bunch of potatoes into chem fuel. And we have been busy doing that. We've been turning potatoes into chem fuel, animals into chem fuel. We've been turning everything into chem fuel. It's been rough. However, now I got this to deal with. So we are being sieged by the Ravagers. There is 19 of them. They have a variety of weapons here, including one rocket launcher. Yeah, I'm not thrilled about that. We do, however, have our own rocket launcher right here. So if it comes down to it, you know, we, we can trade rockets. I don't want to trade rockets, but we can, because someone's probably going to die. And who's it going to be? Is it going to be Harper, my primary builder? I hope not. Cole, the only person who seems to have any kind of uh, any kind of social ability around here. I mean, outside of Mark, mm, probably not. Sean, we just built Sean. I want to keep Sean. So we'll see what happens. I will say this, first thing we're going to do is restrict everyone to home. And then we're going to go ahead and uh, use these. Wait, we need reinforced barrels. <gasps> what has broken? Something has broken here. We never needed reinforced barrels before. Um, can, can I, can I make a reinforced barrel? How do I do that? <sighs> this is not good. Barrel? Reinforce barrel? How do... Oh, this is not good. This is not good. No mortars. Ew. Okay. Well. This is going to be a bad then. Because I never needed those before, and I have no idea how you make them. Well, you know what? I guess we'll just do without mortars then. Time for everyone to draft up. Okay. Everyone draft up, come out here. Okay, I need some kind of sacrificial lamb, I guess. Margarita? You have power armor. And a bolt-action rifle. But you do have power armor nonetheless. Come and get this rocket launcher. 
And everyone else, except for Margarita, make sure you give these guys plenty of space. Oh, is that a Mega Sloth? Oh, I wonder if I could piss off that Mega Sloth. Alright, everyone, let's move down here. Let's see if we can use the wildlife to our advantage. We don't have, like, an animal pulser, do we? Uh, soothe, soothe, soothe. It looks like we don't have any kind of animal or psychosis pulse or anything like that. Shame. That would have been nice. But I do have all these, uh, soothe pulsers, so... Yeah. Okay. Uh, Sean. You're already shooting at them and hurting them. Can I get you to come over here? I want you to see if you can make that Mega Sloth go Manhunter. Come on. Shoot the Mega Sloth. Hit the Mega Sloth! Okay, this is not working. Never mind. Come back here. So, which one among you has the rocket? Also, is he... D He's confused and wandering. Well, that's actually advantageous for us. Okay, who has the rocket launcher? You have the rocket launcher. Margarita. So, it looks like uh, we need to get you up to about here. Right? Okay, yeah, that's about right. Now, who was it? It's you? Come on. Come a little bit closer. <gasps> okay, so it looks like he misfired his. He hit something. Okay, okay, okay. This is actually good for us. This is good. This is good. Everyone, fall back here. Ah! No! Okay. I'm gonna have all of you spread out and fire and fight back. Mark. Take cover back here. This should not be hard. It's not. Already, we're done. We're done. Okay, that's it. That's it. Everyone, be done. Everyone go home. How much damage was there? Looks like they blew up the wall. But just the wall. There's a little bit of damage to the hydroponics beds, but we're okay. We're okay. And there's plenty of stuff over here. So, we can maybe deconstruct these mortars? Maybe we could deconstruct everything over here. At any rate, though, let's, uh, let's allow everything, and we'll give them a chance to clean up. Already we got the wall rebuilt. That's good. I love robots. Robots are amazing. So with them having fixed that, we get back to work on a lot of our, uh, our hydroponic stuff. I'm going to go ahead and unrestrict everyone, except for, of course, Jennifer. Jennifer, you have to stay. But we will go ahead and get a lot of this taken care of. There's another barrel over here. So we can get one of our mortars back online. I do not know how we make those barrels. There's got to be something in here that I'm missing. I wonder if it's in the research. So if I go to research, mortars, right here. Unlocks all of this. Didn't tell me where we get the uh, the replacement barrel, though. Defense? Frontier weapons? No. I have no idea where we get the reinforced barrel. But we should be able to get a couple of ours. Yeah, we got a couple of ours back online already. That's good. 
we're not completely defenseless now. And it looks like we got some cloth. Which, I mean, we need cloth for medicine, which is fine. Which, by the way, I have been working on. We're going to get more cloth here. Yeah, I actually turned off the heal root because we had some heal root. And we needed the industrial medicine, so I started making cloth over here. We should have plenty now, I think. Yeah, we got 18. Or, eight, 18. 800. Wow, I'm having just one of those days. Yeah, so now we've got medicine. And over here, in order to make the healer mech serum, we need advanced components. Uh, we need luciferium. We need industrial medicine. We got all of that except for, I guess, the plasteel. Is, is that what we're running out of? Do we need plasteel? Yeah, we need plasteel. Also, we are running low on power. Which is something that I can't really help. I don't want to deconstruct anything over here because we do still have oil in these tanks. I could drain this tank and hopefully it goes to this one. Yes. I'll, I'm not going to get uh, plasteel out of this anyway, though. Uh, these we can deconstruct just so we can recover the resources from it. And now it's just kind of a matter of where are we going to get the resources we need for this. Okay, I think we've recovered everything we need. We're just going to leave the bodies out there. Actually, no, we're not going to leave the bodies out there. I forgot. I have this thing. We'll just turn this back on. Then we can take care of the bodies. Otherwise, right now, we are just really in desperate need of getting some plasteel. Two ways I can think of to do that. One of them would be to just wait for a trader to go by. Oh, wait. No, I take it back. I forgot about this. I built an autoclave. That's right. That was the other thing that I needed to do. Uh, during In the Room Fella stuff. This is what I left off doing last week. I got Plasteel researched. Now, for Plasteel, we need Uncured Plasteel. Uncured Plasteel is made up here. Make, make Plasteel. Oh, yeah, this is the Uncured Plasteel. So, we make the Uncured Plasteel. That just takes Synthaline and uh, Chemfuel. Which, chem fuel we're doing poorly on. But, regardless, now we turn on the autoclave and we should be able to get that. Only problem is, if I remember correctly, autoclaves use a ton of power. Let's find out. Does somebody want to come over and hit the button? Okay, yes. Yeah! 2,000 power. Skill points lost. Yeah, because all of our servers keep losing power. Okay, turn the servers off. Turn the servers off. We'll save power where we can. Yes, I know. Skill points are lost. It's fine. Trust me. Have we taken care of all those bodies? Uh, no. Almost done with them, though. And then we will, we will be able to turn off the crematorium as well. So this is going to take us six hours to get some plasteel. And our power situation is not great, but it's at least, you know, okay. How are we doing over here? Lots of production. Which is good. Production is good. Unfortunately, keeping all of these online is hard. Hard. I think we can turn this off now. So that'll save us 250 watts. Uh, what else can we turn off? This thing. We can turn this off. We don't need that. Uh, this bench. Turn that off. This one, we can turn that off. We can turn this off. Just anything that we don't need right now. We're not using this casket. Turn this off. Uh, these uh, electric stone cutter benches. Turn these off. Anything we can afford to lose, let's lose it. Um, this thing, the sky mine antenna. 1800 watts with no servers. We don't need it on right now. Turn it off. Okay, how are we doing on power now? 
We have an excess of about 8,000 watts. That's awesome. I even got desperate enough I built a, a little wind turbine over here. So, you know, that's, that's giving us a lot of power. Temporarily, but a lot of power nonetheless. So can we get Plasteel out of this thing? Still says six hours. Oh, five hours. All right, so let's give this a minute to finish up. Wait, what? Bill complete? Healer mech serum? How did you get the Plasteel to make the components and the thing and... Okay, you know what? Whatever, I don't care. Fact is, you built it. Leo, are you ready for this? Would you like to have your brain back? No, I like laying here like a vegetable. Administer healer mech serum. Somebody should come over and administer this now. Maybe? Yep, looks like Solarian's gonna do it. Plug it in. And there we go. Healer Mech Serum, your brain is back to 100%. Leo, welcome back. Now, unfortunately, the charge weapon that you had before has kind of been, uh, taken. That's okay, though. Here's a battle rifle. You want a battle rifle? You can have a battle rifle. I mean, it's a rifle, and it's good for battle. It says so right on the cover. Now, over here, curing time, zero hours, because it's not curing anything. Oh, yeah, we got some Plasteel. Wow, we didn't get a lot of Plasteel, though. Did we get enough, though? You're making an advanced component. It takes 10 Plasteel to make an advanced component, but if we're making Plasteel like 20 at a time, this is totally viable. This is going to work. Cool. Now we just need to get ourselves more advanced components. And this time, when it says we have zero, it means it. We are completely out. That's fine, though. We will just give them a moment to work on getting the advanced components made. And during that time, we'll go ahead and make more chem fuel. Hmm. Now here's something that has possibilities. A bulk trader wanders onto the map. I wonder if they might have chem fuel. Or Plasteel. Those are bulk goods, right? And since they seem to be androids, let's have Cole come talk to them. I've also taken to slaughtering animals on the map. Right now I have people out hunting alpacas so we can turn them into chem fuel too. Everyone is useful in their own way. Okay, what do you have? You do have 250 chem fuel. We'll take it. I, we have plenty of silver. You also have food that we could turn into chem fuel. We'll take that too. Uh, advanced components, you don't have any. You do have regular components though. May as well buy those. I mean, we have so very much silver, we may as well just use it. We can actually give you some of this, uh, this hide back though. We have plenty of cloth, so I'm not really worried about that. Hmm. Now, steel. We'll take your steel. Steel is always useful. Uh, I have a Resurrector Mech Injector? Oh, that's right, because we're waiting on a Reconstruction Serum. It looks like that's about all you've got, though. You've got some gold, but we don't need that right now. Yeah, you don't sell Plasteel. So that's fine, though. That's fine. We're going to get a lot of good stuff out of here that we do need. Also, Neutramine. We'll take your Neutramine. That way I don't have to produce it. Good? Good. Gimme. So, all of this stuff, haul it in. Right now. In the meantime, though, we... Or I was able to turn the Crude Cracker back on. No one's operating it right now because they're hauling. But we are producing... Um, we're, we're producing more chem fuel. So we're buying it, we're producing it, we're growing stuff to convert or to refine into it. It's all good. It's all coming together. This thing is working all the time now because we are able to produce so very much. We have plenty of synthaline up here, so that's good. We have plenty of chem fuel. We have plenty of steel. We have everything we need. And that means 
as Zarin is doing, we are making advanced components. So coming back down here, we had the Reconstructor. Okay, we have the Reconstructor, we need the Resurrector. That's right. And I already have that queued up. We're just going to unsuspend this. Now the Resurrector takes 14. We have... Oh, it, this is suspended here. We have four. Yeah, I forget why I suspended that. Now it's unsuspended, though, so let's let's get back into this. Also, bulk goods trader. A starship in orbit. Cool. You're wandering? Come call these people. Wait, we need an orbital trade beacon? I don't have those? Okay, that's fine. It's fine. So get those built before the ship leaves. Are these built? No. Come on. Hurry up. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Okay, those should all be good. Now, Cole, come call them. Okay. Well, yes. My silver's near it. Should be near it anyway. Yeah, our silver's near it. Stop telling me things. So, bulk goods. Advanced components. You have one. I'll take it. Uh, you have regular components. I guess we'll take those two. You have lots of chem fuel. We'll take that. More importantly, though, plasteel. That is expensive, but you know what? We're going to do it. That will give us a lot of plasteel. That's pretty much all the plasteel we're ever going to need for, like, anything. We have over 1,100 jade, though. We don't need this. So there we go. That, that really cut our bill down. Uh, medicine? We are able to make our own medicine. Not worried about that. Neutromine? We can buy some more. Is there anything else that we need or we can get rid of? Not really. I think this takes care of all of our problems. So, where did that all drop into? Oh, it's all out here. Okay, but they're going to bring it in. So we are now set on Plasteel. We have Plasteel, we have gold, we have everything that we need. I we, we are in business now. All right, so he made more uncured Plasteel. I saw him carrying it away. We just need the advanced components now. And that'll be done as fast as they can get it put together. A quest? Not doing quests. Not this game. We are not here to fulfill other people's desires. We're here to fulfill our desires. Or at least the architect is telling us what to do. So now... How much chem fuel do we have? It's just sitting around. 1,500. Okay. Here's what I want to do. I want to put a lot of this chem fuel in here. So turn the pump off. Turn the siphon on. I mean, we have a storage tank. Let's actually store stuff in it. Right? We're up to seven advanced components. A party? Who's having a party? Rudy is throwing a party. Rudy, you're a robot. What do you know about partying? I guess it must be programmed into you. Well, if you're going to have a party anywhere, this is the place to do it. I mean, with all these, uh, these psychic emanators. Yeah, that's how you do. All right, party's over. Everyone get back to work. All right, so he made more plasteel. That's fine. We're still producing more plasteel in the autoclave. I almost kind of wish that I could build another one, but that, that would be foolish. It's not going to help us at all. Did we get all of our, our uh, chem fuel stored in here? Yes, good. I think. No. No, we have not. There's still plenty of chem fuel over here. Come on, people. Get it stored. It's much safer in there, I promise. Actually, that's a lie. It's not any safer there than it is anywhere else. I don't have fire foam poppers. Which may be a bad idea, actually. Don't care, though. All right. We're... So it's kind of staggering how much work it takes to actually put these advanced components together, even with all of my best people working on it. 14 advanced components is going to take a really long time. Unfortunately, though, I mean, that's what we need. And then, 
once we get that done, hopefully we finish up. Oh, that's right. These things are suspended. I can unsuspend these now. I forgot that I had suspended those to save uh, chem fuel because we were kind of running really low on it. But not a problem now. So now we look at the map and I see the little flashes all over the map. The terraforming is back in progress. That's good. Venison is rotted away. That's... That, that's fine. I wonder, are there any other animals that I can take in? I'm looking for big herds of things. But I don't see a lot. It is the end of fall, though, so coming into winter and with less and less foliage on the ground due to terraforming... Well, there's only going to be so many animals. Right now, looks like the only thing we have are... Mega sloths, and I'm not hunting those. How are we doing on advanced components? We're up to 12. We're gonna do this. I This is gonna happen. So I, I guess maybe we should pull Wobbler out now. Open this sarcophagus. Thank you. So, Wobbler is there. We almost have enough... Uh, advanced components to do this. So, uh, Unicorn, what are you doing? You're cleaning. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to take this Reconstructor Serum, and I want you to use it on Wobbler. And just like that, poof, done. Wow, just like we left him. Extreme toxic buildup and cuts and bruises all over the place. Okay. So now we just need that Resurrector Serum. Don't have it yet. Still need that one more component. And Navarro, you're working on that? Fantastic. Or at least you were. Oh, you had to drop what you were doing and make Plasteel. Okay, I guess. How are we doing on Plasteel? 600. We're not going to have to worry about Plasteel for a long time. As a matter of fact, we might even be able to turn this casket back on because we still need... Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We have 10 human colonists, which means that we need 3 more androids. But that's okay. Once we get done resurrecting people, and it looks like he's building it now. Come on, Zarin. And a combat supplier. There we go. Resurrector serum. Zarin. I know, you're making advanced components, but you know what? I want you to come do this. Use this advanced component on Wobbler. Wait, did I just cancel that? I just canceled that. Use the Resurrector Serum on Wobbler. Go. Finally, we'll have everyone back. No one's allowed to stay dead, except for you. And there we go. Wobbler is back. Ooh, his brain has dementia. Well, brain always had dementia, I think. Or is that new? I don't know. Sometimes these things happen. Sometimes people come back wrong. We could uh, get a a healer mech serum, though, and fix that. That is a thing that we can do, but that's definitely not going to be a thing to do right now. Okay, so all of that being done, we now have everyone back. Leo is back up and running around. Wobbler, you'll be up and running around soon. I mean, you're, you're going to take some time, but... You'll be back up and running around soon. In the meantime, I'll make sure to get your work schedule worked out again because it needs to be. We'll get you a weapon. We'll get you some new clothes. And... Okay. All of these are now out. That's fine, though. Watch this. We turn this one off and this one on. And then people just come in and start refilling these. 
and the terraforming is back on schedule. I dare say this may be... Maybe second to last episode we're here. Because as soon as this map is done, we already have our launch facility made. And we can get out of here. Yeah, right now we are just waiting on the terraforming to complete. And we're gone. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave it off here. I may let it run a little bit in the background. And we'll let the terraforming finish up. When we come back next time, I will start making preparations to get the hell out of here and land at the new ship. It's going to be exciting. Doubly so if we can actually keep oil in the ground. I don't know where it keeps going, but it keeps going. I blame Unicorn for being thirsty. That's what I'm going to do. I'll blame Unicorn for being a thirsty robot and drinking all the oil. You know what you did. So, that being said, if you're enjoying this, if you like colony builders or simulation games of any kind, or if you know somebody else who does, subscribe, hit the bell, share this with some other people, tell them to hit the bell too. Either way, even if you don't do that, at least leave a like, leave a comment down below, especially if you'd like to be an android. Harper needs a new name, so does Cole, and so does Sean, because I cannot have Android 130 and 131 and Android 58 running around the entire time. They need names. So, leave a like, leave a comment down below. Please take one of my androids, and I'll see you back here next time for more RimWorld. Till then, take care.